Welcome to Loyal TV. Meet Tulsa, Oklahoma. Long considered a cultural and arts mecca in the state, T-Town has also been famous for a one-of-a-kind institution, world-class Christmas time productions of a magical ballet where dolls turn into princes and flowers dance with mice. It's the iconic Nutcracker. And over these 50 years, three quarters of a million people have thrilled to the Tulsa Ballet's peerless performances. But the chime of the Sugar Plum Fairies dance, which is rooted in Russian history, was brought to Tulsa by a Native American woman born right here. This is the tale of Mausoline Larkin. It was a wintry Wednesday in January of 1925, and Mausoline makes her debut into the world. Born in the northeast corner of the state, Miami, Oklahoma, her mother was a talented Russian dancer, and her father an eastern Shawnee Peoria Indian. And it certainly didn't take long for her mother to notice Mausoline had inherited the natural poise and grace that radiates from a performer. She begins her training in the art of ballet, and as Mausoline's talents blossom, she journeys to New York at the age of 15, hoping to study under the great dancers of the day. And did she ever get her Christmas wish? Larkin was signed to the incomparable and original Ballet Russe. Suddenly, she was touring throughout the Western Hemisphere, dancing in the Ballet de Russe Monte Carlo in 1948, and as a frequently featured ballerina at Radio City Music Hall in New York. At the time, she became known as one of the Five Moons, these dancers were some of America's first prima ballerinas in the top companies, and amazingly, they were all Native Americans from Oklahoma. In addition to Mausoline, the five included Yvonne Choteau, Rosella Hightower, Maria Tallchief, and her sister, Marjorie Tallchief. But Mausoline was truly special. One British columnist described her thusly, she is tiny and sparkling with a magnificent jump and a spectacular way with turns. While touring as a prima ballerina, she met a young Polish principal dancer who made her heart do a pity pat after one look, according to Mausoline's journal. This debonair dancer was Roman Jasinski, and the feeling was mutual. The two stage stars marry in Buenos Aires in 1943. Both dancers keep touring the globe to great acclaim, as always. The home in the heartland was tugging at Mausoline, and the family moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma. In 1956, Mausoline and Roman began teaching at her mother's school, blending classical dance with dramatic theater, and thereby launching the Tulsa Ballet Theater. As internationally known dancers, Jasinski and Larkin set the tone for excellence, a foundation that would be built for decades to come. The reception was immediate and overwhelming, drawing the world's best-known dancers and troops to Tulsa. At the same time, they were able to bring the capability of Tulsa's best to audiences nationwide. Under their leadership, the troupe became a fully professional company in 1978. In 1987, the couple staged the Mozart Violin Concerto, a ballet never performed in North America, bringing excitement to the dance world. But through all of her global success and prestige, Mausoline embraced her Native American birthright, saying, I have a dual heritage. My mother was Russian and very excitable. Daddy was Indian. He could be quiet like still water. Ballet gave me the freedom to express all of that. Next time you're in the rotunda of the Oklahoma State Capitol, find the remarkable Flight of Spirit mural, depicting Mausoline and the other four moons in their elegance. And when you pass through Tulsa, don't miss the elite dancers, the world-leading choreographers, as well as another not-to-be-missed performance from the Tulsa Ballet. And the next time you hear the waltz of the flowers, think of the wide-eyed Christmas time miracle from Miami, the woman who brought the vastness of the world and lots of magic back home. Join us next time for more of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard right here on Loyal TV.